Hello everybody and welcome to my channel again. Today we're going to go through file backup. Uh, they've found a, a really useful little program called Free File Sync which you can use to automate to an extent the backup process so it makes it a lot easier. So I'll run through that with you. Um, so the software link is in the comments down below but if we go to free file sync dot org whoops take caps off this is the website so there's a number of details on here uh, as I'm downloading this it's 8.10 there are some other instructions on my website again there's a link below um, but basically if we download this file I've already got it but it comes out with the versions so you've got a Windows Mac uh, various Linux versions. I obviously I'm on a Windows machine at the minute, so I've downloaded it. It's already installed, but I'll run through the installer because there's one very important thing. So once you've downloaded the file, we're going to run the setup and we'll accept that. So I'll run the setup and we'll close these. So first off, we've got the general license agreement. Obviously, like all license agreements, you should really read through it. Uh, I'm presuming that you agree, accept, click next. You've then got your installation directory. Now, if you are installing applications in another place, this is where you'd change them. I'm accepting the default. Again, we've got some components. So we're going for local. Um, there are other options if you donate. And then I'm going to also create desktop and start menu icons. So do next. This is an important one. Um, there is, obviously, it's donation, if you like, donation where. Um, so if you are going to use it or you intend to use it, um, I would suggest unclicking this so you don't get the extra bloatware. But please do make sure that you donate uh, so that the program does get developed. And then I'll let the installer run through. It's a fairly quick installer. And what that will do is go off and create the icons on the desktop. And then once you've finished, you click finish. You can see it's moved my icons. I'll just move that one back for ease. So I'll move that back. So we've got our two icons. So the main one that we're concerned with first is the free file sync. So once you start that up, you can see in, in this side any that you've got saved. And then over this side, we have what's been done. So this one is showing you I've got a backup run, just a test one, which is backing up the picture directory to an external H, uh, backup HP, it's called. So that will back up everything in pictures to that directory. And you can see it's a mirror, as it's done here. So there are options available. You can have two-way mirror or update or custom. Two-way, it's important to remember, if you set two-way, if you delete something from the this side, so your, effectively your target side, it will delete it from the source side. And if you delete from the source, it will also delete it from the target. So be very careful mirror takes everything from your source side so this side mirrors it across to your destination or target and once you've got it set up it's it's fairly good and it's fairly easy to to just let it run it is complex there's things that you can do in here you can add filters in so that for example you may only want to include star.cr2 files for raw files for a Canon camera. For an example, uh, asterisk is include everything. Um, you can also exclude files. So here you can see by default it excludes the bin and some desktop ini files, etc. So I'll leave that. So it is very flexible. You can do lots with it, but I'm just going to run through quickly what and uh, how to set one up really. So I'm going to uh, delete this one. So, I'm going to browse for the bits that I want. So, 
go into this PC and I'm going to use this directory again. So I'm going to take the pictures directory and this is going to be my source. So I'm going to select that and then my destination I will insert a memory card into my laptop. So I've inserted the memory card. I'll ignore that because I'm not interested. So if I then go to my drive, I've got a number of directories and a backup HP. So that's the one that I used last time. So I'm going to create a new one just to show you. So new folder and picture backup account. So I'm going to use that directory there for the backups. So cancel that. So the backup here, I'm going to browse, go to the drive, and I'm going to get picture backup and select the folder so everything from pictures will go into the my picture backup if I do a compare that will tell me what files are actually in the directories and what's going to be moved across so if I do a run uh, it will actually copy all those files across so I'm going to do a synchronize it says there's 169 meg in 31 files you can turn this off it does have some benefits but it also has some benefits of it showing and as I say this one's a mirror so I'm going to start and you can see there it tells you how many items are remaining roughly how long's left and what time's elapsed so it's quite quick it's very quick there we go it's done so now if I look on my external disk my pictures backup has a lot of documents so they've mirrored across and if I delete one for example like that if I then do a compare it will compare them and the file that I've just deleted is showing as being in the source but not in the target so if I synchronize it will just copy that single file across easy we can go one better than this so if we save this as a batch job so we get we can have pop-ups on and then on completion what it does etc etc I'm going to save this as uh, picture backup save that so I've got that saved as a bit of a batch file now and that can be run we can add I'll come back to this one and we can add other directories into this. You can just keep adding, but I will leave it. The the the, you know, the way that it works is exactly as I've gone through, obviously with the different options up here. So we've got our batch file, um, and I suggest, really do suggest, you check out the about and also the website for more information. Uh, just on the there's a there's an absolute load of information on there, but it's really worth looking at. So I'm going to close that one now. So for this one, the real-time sync, what I'm going to do is the batch file that we created. Just go to that. The batch file was picture backup. Now I'm going to drag that into here. So that's brought it up. So we've got pictures back into there. And it will idle time is 10 seconds so every so often you can change that every so often it will check for differences and update so that's running now so we should see oh, there you go so there's nothing to do so it's popped up so you should see that every so often coming up which is why I say you can turn it off so it's not annoying but what you can do do is if we go back in here and have this one you can actually save this as a batch so you can see I've got batch run there so picture batch 
can do with that. What you can do with these batch files is you can have them set to run on boot so that they will automatically sit there and synchronize. Um, so you wouldn't actually necessarily have to have this on view, but it would be running at task manager. So if I check in task manager, we can see I've got real time sync running there. So I think if I, uh, if I X that, you see it's gone from there. But if I run this one, so if I had this on startup and it ran on startup, So then, what happens is, as an example, um, I've just unplugged the USB. If I came along and plug it in, it will. And if there've been any changes, so I'm going to click on continue. What you should see is it should pop up uh, again just to show that it's actually checking. So it's checking, and there's to do so it's going to pretty much ignore it but that would if you've made any changes sync them at that time and then you can simply eject the drive once you've done and you're done and uh, there's your sort of semi automated backup if you like now if I take that memory card out I'm going to put another memory card in which doesn't have the same folder structure but it actually wouldn't do anything with this one. So there's nothing happening on the here. It's not popped up with any sync. But while that's there, what I'm going to do is go into pictures. And ah, there we go. Created picture copy. I'm going to put a new text file on. New file on source. So I put that on. I remove that one and I'm going to put my other drive back in and what it should do is synchronize again so I'm going to continue that the reason that comes up is because I keep messing around with the OSX I've got a, a Mac that I use predominantly and there we go so that's just synced in the background you can see it's done couple of items which is that folder and that one so if I now go off and have a look I think I've probably done multiples through by mistake if I go to my drive and go to my pictures I should have New file on source is one. I think that's the main one that I uh, that I know that I did. So that's copied it across. So you've got synchronized. So there you go. A nice, quick, easy backup solution. Uh, it's very worth looking at. Any questions? Comment below. Thank you.